Hello YouTube, just wanted to do a quick little unboxing and review of the Asus Vivo model VM42. Uh, I've had a lot of experience with this and the VM40 in uh, production settings, so might as well get right into it. Here's the box, really small, looks like you just got a few keyboards in here perhaps. Cut it right open. She opens up beautifully, just beautifully. Inside you get your uh, little Vivo Viva system. Vivo, it's not bad. Not a bad little system. It's got a Celeron dual core, 1.4 gigahertz with the level two or sorry, two megabyte cache. And fourth generation Celeron. Uh, and four gigabytes RAM out of the box. 500 gigabytes. 500 gigabytes internal storage. Uh, 7200 RPM. Uh, disc and yeah this puppy gets yeah, AC Wi-Fi it has Bluetooth the 4.0 I believe and USB 3.0 that's what you want right there USB 3.0 now the big difference between the VM 42 and the B VM uh, uh, 40 is the inputs you got HDMI and display on the 40s you had a VGA but anyways you gotta move up to the new tech I guess Anyway, uh, you see, unlock, really easy to take the hard drive out. You just pop her. There you go. There's your hard drive, really easy to take out. Bingo, bango, slam, reload. You're done. That's where the RAM is. It is PC3 type RAM. You get two slots in there. It comes with one 4 gig stick, or at least that's what it has for me in this situation. So, get a bit more back into the unboxing. Super easy to get back on actually, and just Mr. Butterfingers. Gotta make sure we lock it. Very nice. Okay, for the rest of the unboxing, it's uh, pretty straightforward. We've got a handy dandy little guide and a little mouse. Guide says, not much really. Thank you for purchasing. You are so welcome. Other side's the power supply. Now, this power supply has given me problems before. I'll get into that in a sec. At the very bottom is the keyboard. Now, one thing that should be said about the mouse and the keyboard is that they have very short cords. This is meant to sit on a desk and uh, not be used from too far away. So, if you need a long keyboard uh, and mouse USB cord, you're going to have to get some adapters. But... You know, not bad for the price. So, the only problem that this unit has given me, it's great for the price, absolutely great for the price, but the only problem that this unit has given me is in the power supply. Uh, I've, I've used many of these in the past, and we have some problems with the power supply every now and then. Uh, power supply plug, plugs in the back here. Sometimes these darn things just won't turn on. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a problem I find with a few of them, more with the, the VM40s, but sometimes they just refuse to turn on. And all I have to do when that happens is unplug it at the wall. Don't just unplug it here. The power source, the power brick over here. I don't know, maybe it has something to do with this. But you have to unplug it at the wall, 30 seconds, and usually that'll be okay. That'll be okay, we'll be good there. Other than that, geez, for the price, this, if someone says they just want a Facebook machine, if someone says they just want to something to do really simple internet browsing with this this is the unit that they want usually comes to about 250 Canadian uh, American that these days that's probably like 50 cents but yeah really really good system